Worn out mom struggles to put food on table until boss changes her paycheck. She sat in awe. All she wanted was a little extra cash to help support her family. Now, all eyes were on her. Her face burned. Was this a joke? She was told that it was just a little extra work all she had to do was show the new girl around, but she never signed up for this. Then, the unimaginable happened. She sat in awe. All she wanted was a little extra cash to help support her family. Now, all eyes were on her. Her face burned. Was this a joke? She was told that it was just a little extra work all she had to do was show the new girl around, but she never signed up for this. Then, the unimaginable happened. Tana Marino wanted the American dream. And when her husband proposed, she thought she had gotten it. They moved into their new home on the outskirts of Cyprus, Texas, and began to focus on their future together. She was an appliance technician at Mr. Appliance and Michael was a store manager. They knew they wanted children, but they never thought their dream would become a nightmare. Tana's family began to expand quicker than she expected. As soon as their first baby began to crawl, she discovered that she was expecting again. She had just returned to work after her first maternity leave. How were they going to react to her big news now? Little did she know, her second pregnancy would be the least of her worries in years to come. Tana's second maternity leave led to a third, and eventually, to a fourth. Thankfully, the management of Mr. Appliance were understanding. Of course, she needed time off. After all, she already had three young children at home to take care of. She thought her maternity leave would be as relaxed as the ones before. But she never expected her husband to react like this. When Tana came home from her last shift at Mr. Appliance, she found her husband sitting at their kitchen table with a bottle of beer in his hand. His brow was furrowed and his heart was heavy. They had a plan Tana would return to work after maternity leave, then hand in her notice at the end of the year. They were already spending a fortune on nannies. But then, he said something that made her heart stop. As Tana welcomed her fourth child into the world, her husband lost his job. They were surviving on savings, and the plan they once had seemed impossible. As the years went by, Tana continued to work and support her family while her husband got as much work as he could find. In the mornings, he would bring the kids to school while Tana was at work. In the evenings, Tana would collect them and get them ready for bed while he attended training to become a firefighter. They were exhausted. Then one day, she received a phone call. Tana and Michael were missing out on their children's childhood. What was the point in having a family when they only got see each other a few hours a day? So, when Tana got a call from a television scout asking if she'd be interested starring in a reality TV pilot, she was intrigued. It was a paid gig and it wouldn't cut into her family time. Michael encouraged her to take the opportunity. Neither of them expected it to have such an impact on their lives. The crew of Don't Quit Your Day Job agreed to meet Tana outside Mr. Appliance. Her manager had already approved their presence. She was told to go about her normal routine for the day not very exciting for a reality show. Nonetheless, Tana did as they said. However, they did approach her with one new task to train the new employee, Faith. But she wasn't what Tana expected. Tana worked five days a week minimum. Every chance she got, she did overtime. She needed to save every penny. Understandably, she didn't ever have time to make sure her makeup and hair were perfect. Faith was the opposite. She was plastered in. A thick layer of makeup, long brown locks fell down her back, jewels sparkled around her neck and across every finger, and long pink acrylic claws clutched her designer purse. Tana didn't know they were hiring new staff. But someone was keeping a secret. Tana was kind, patience, and understanding. When Faith didn't understand a process, Tana would explain it again. Faith never felt more welcomed in her life. Tana could tell she didn't have much experience, so she made sure to go through everything slowly. She never thought Faith would eventually change her life. Over the next few days, Tana and Faith were joined by the hip. They went on house calls together, 
ate lunch together, went on breaks together. Tana even invited Faith home to meet her family. It felt as though they had known each other for years. So, Tana decided to let Faith in on a secret. Tana shared their harsh reality. Although she and Michael were lucky enough to have jobs, they were struggling financially. As the kids grew, they needed new shoes, new clothes, school equipment, sports gear, and... Although she already spent the majority of her time away from her children, she was currently hunting for a second job. Faith's heart broke. But Tana never expected their week to end like this. Faith was no stranger to family affairs. Her father struggled to support their family constantly during her childhood. She knew what hunger was. So, as the last day of filming approached, the crew informed Tana that she would be visiting Faith's home for the final segment. But when Tana showed up Friday afternoon to be greeted by a now short-haired Faith, she was puzzled. What was going on? Faith couldn't hide the truth any longer. I am Dina Dwyer Owens, the CEO of the corporation that owns Mr. Appliance, she said as she shook Tana's hand. Tana's jaw dropped. Turns out, Dina had disguised herself. For the week in order to see what it was like working at the front lines of the business. The show was actually called Undercover Boss. Tana had seen it before. Was she about to be fired? Dina was so impressed by Tana's work. Never in her career had she met someone so kind and hardworking. She praised Tana's work ethic and labeled her as a critical member of the team. But then, she did the unthinkable. She presented Tana with a $5,000 grant to start a program for women in trades. And there was more. Dina also set up $10,000 scholarship for their children's college education. As parents, their biggest fear was not providing enough for their kids. With four mouths to feed, bills to pay, and a house to keep, Tana feared they would never get to a point where they could start putting money away for their tuition. Understandable, she was in tears. How could a stranger be so kind? But the story didn't end there. Tana couldn't believe her luck. She was only treating Dina as she would have any other new employee. She never thought the experience would escalate to this. She felt lightheaded. Was she? Dreaming? Was this a prank? Against all Tana's better instincts, she was wide awake. Dina told her the money was a personal gift. But why had Dina done so much for an employee? Dina didn't know what to expect when she signed up for Undercover Boss. She had seen the show. Most of the time, bosses met entitled, rude, lazy employees. Tana was special. She was everything Dina looked for in an employee. She knew how hard it was to support a large family, even with a full-time job. She wanted to give back. Dina went back to her job as CEO, and Tana went home to her family. When Michael opened the front door, he thought she had seen a ghost. But when she informed him of what happened, he burst into tears. Finally, after years of struggling, they had caught a break. What were they going to spend the money on? As usual, Tana thought of his children first. She treated them all to a new pair of shoes she had promised months ago. Then, she took them out for a family meal of desserts only. Her children gave her strength. But when she couldn't give them everything they wanted, she thought she was failing as a mother. Thankfully, Dina was there to help a mother in need. But how long could Tana resist splurging for?